Hello everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Overworked Admin. Um, this is the 10th in the 14 part series of our PowerShell tutorials and we have kind of a critical point in our lesson series. Uh, essentially what we are doing from here on out is we're going to be building a, a fairly useful program if you're a sysadmin. So um, this week the uh, video is really about the assignment that we have. <clears throat> and um, essentially what it will be, it, it will be taking what we've learned so far and building a working interactive menu that you can use to start and stop processes, things like that. And so you might say, well, why would you want to do this? Well, that will become more apparent as we work all the way through lessons uh, 11, 12, 13, and then finally 14. Uh, but it does lead to something that will actually be useful for you if you are a system admin or if you have servers that you need to uh, monitor or watch or that you're responsible for. So I just want to take a minute and kind of cover what we're going to need to do um, and how we're going to handle this and what lessons specifically that you can reference in order to help you through this work process. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of any garbage. You know, you might remember that I like to put that clear statement on, um, and that was in lesson six. And what we're going to do is we're going to need a couple of variables. Um, it just to help you out, I had six main variables in my script. And what I did is I included an actual image of what uh, my script looked like, but I didn't um, write it out, so you can't just copy and paste it. The point is that you really work through this and you learn the lessons and you try to do this on your own and you create a truly functional script on your own. My code is there to help you if you just wanna look or if you really get stuck or if you wanna ask some questions uh, on the website, you know, I can be there to help you out. But you really try to work through this yourself. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a loop that's gonna run and that's gonna ask the user if they wanna run this process over and over. And if you remember, we covered loops in lesson eight, and we covered user input in lesson nine. So those are two things, is you're building this loop and you're asking the person if they want to run this script again and again, you're gonna need, let, um, you're gonna need techniques from lesson eight and nine. We also are gonna wanna list processes, and um, which we learned about that way back in lesson three. So in lesson three, we learned about getting services and getting processes, and uh, stopping and starting processes. If you also remember, if you're gonna be working with system processes and uh, services, you're gonna have to run your script as a local administrator. So don't forget to do that. Um, and we're gonna be stopping and starting the service. So um, just to give you a quick run through, we learned about getting services and processes in lesson three. We learned about selecting processes by a criteria, like the process name in lesson four. Uh, we learned about the right host to print out um, things to the screen in lesson five. We learned about the clear and if statements in lesson six, and you're gonna need some of those. We learned about if, else if, and else in lesson seven. We learned about all of our loops in lesson eight, and we learned about user inputs and uh, switch statements in lesson nine. So this brings us to lesson 10. So go through, take a look at it, really try to follow the directions. Uh, again, my code is there if you really um, run into you know some sort of issue, and then go to the website if you have any questions, and I'll and I'll try to ha um, help you guys work through any questions that you may have. So again, we have um, our homework and we have the answers. If you like um, the content, uh, please click on some of the advertisers' links. It's how we pay um, or how I pay as an individual for the hosting and things like that, and. Um, I hope to see you over on the website, go through, post any questions that you have on the blog post, and I'll be sure to help you out. Um, also, I just wanted to uh, let everybody know, if you do head over to the website, you will see um, I've got a lot of requests and a lot of people ask, will I please do some, um, some Linux tutorials? So yes, I will be doing a whole 14 part series on how to get started with Linux. Um, I am most familiar with my work uh, with the Red Hat derivative of CentOS Linux and we'll be going through version uh, 6, 6X. 
So if you go through and uh, you take a look at the post, you'll see kind of the format that we're gonna be following. It will um, lead you and you'll be able to build your own system and SSH in and kind of manage processes and, and, and learn all about the fundamentals that you'll need to learn for Linux. So go ahead, uh, take a look at the website, check out Lesson 10, it is posted live now. Uh, we have the homework and the answers to the homework. And uh, thank you very much again for watching Overworked Admin.